Hi everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd like to combine two of my favorite things, OneNote and the task application Asana. So let's say that you have a, a new project come up. One of the things you need to do for that project is gather the information about that project. So maybe you go over here to the uh, drop down menu on the left in uh, OneNote, click on add a new notebook and within OneDrive you can create a new project name. Let's say uh, this project is for a new product launch. So we'll do new product launch and create that notebook. Okay, so once that notebook's been created, there are of course different things to do for a product launch. I might double click on this first section tab and do something like, uh, let's see here, product ideation. Uh, we'll do research, development, testing, marketing and analysis. Okay, so let's say that we are in the product ideation phase and there are a few things that we need to do in order to sort of get the ball rolling a bit. Well, if we have a lot of things to do, we'll probably need a task traffic tracking application like Asana. So here I am logged into Asana and at the top of the screen I can click the little plus sign and notice there that I have the ability to add a new project. So this project will of course sort of duplicate what I was doing in OneNote. But the point of OneNote is to gather information, track what we're thinking about, um, and sort of help people collaborate on stuff. The idea in Asana is that we need to be able to figure out what everybody's doing, what order we're doing it in, how long it's taking, etc. So I'll call this new, pro uh, new product launch. I get a choice between a, uh, a list, uh, sort of a task list view or more of a Kanban view where it's, there's sticky notes that you sort of move around. I think a task list view makes sense to me. And I'll click on create project. Now, before I click on add a new task, let's think this through a bit. If I have a task within product ideation, for example, there's part of it when I click on add task there's part of it that's in the description field here, but you know, there's probably a number of different files. There's people who want to come in and talk about this. Maybe we have some meetings about this. And so this description box and the attachments that are associated with the task are probably a little bit on the inadequate side. So what I would do is I'd go over here to if this then that, ifttt.com. And as you can see here, if uh, when you load it up and you click in the search, you look for one note, one note, there you go. I have my one note service. Notice if I click on it, I have mine logged in right now. If you need to, you would then click on connect at this point to connect your one note uh, with if this then that. And if I go back to search and I look for Asana, in the exact same way, there's Asana, and you can see that I'm logged into it, you would have a big button here that says connect to Asana. Now at this point in the process, you now want, every time there's a new task that needs to get done in Asana in that project, a new page should be affiliated with that task. So I click here on My Applets, and what I'll do is I'll click on New Applet over on the right-hand side, and for the this part of things, this is what we call the trigger. What is the action that causes something to happen? I'll click on the this part and I'll look for Asana. And when I click on Asana, you'll see a number of different triggers that are available to me. So as you can see right here, if there is a new task in a project, then something could happen. Same thing if there's a new project, if there's a task being completed, if there's a task assigned to you, etc. So I'll click here on a new task assigned in a pro excuse me, new task in a project. And as you can see on the drop down menu here, we're in the knacktraining.com organization. And then the project name that we just made up was new product launch. 
and I'll click on Create Trigger. So now we're connected to Asana, and anytime a new task is created in that section, in that project, then something else can happen. So then I click on the that part of the recipe, as they're called, and put in OneNote. There's OneNote right there. And it says, what would you like to do? Oh, I'd love to create a page. So I click on Create a Page, and the first thing it asks is, uh, do you have a notebook in mind. I'll click on add ingredient right here and I will choose the project name as the notebook name. Now so notice that I named this new product launch and in OneNote as well I called it new product launch so that is perfect for this situation. I specifically just say here that the project name in Asana and the project name in OneNote are exactly the same. Then the question is, what section are we interested in? So what I'll do in here is I'll say that you need to look for the section called, uh, what did I call mine? Product ideation. All right. Product ideation. And then the title of this is task name, task added to project name. I don't think I need all that. I think I just need the task name. So the title of the page within the section product ideation will be whatever the name of the task is. And then the body will say it's been added to this and it will have a link back to Asana that can be used to see what the status of that task is. So I click on create action. And now if this then that, I'll just click finish right here. Every time there's a new task in that project, create a page and it's turned on.